Hey, it's Noel Christopher coming to you with another video here. Uh, busy week for me. Kids just had their first week of school last week. It went really well. My kids are going half day every day, which I think it's great for them. It's a little bit tough on the family and schedules and things like that because I go from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So coming to you with another video from the car as I drop my kids off to school and that's how this whole thing got started. Still on the quest to find more homes, more single family rentals, whether it's new construction homes, to turn into rentals, whether it's purpose-built communities, whether it's existing rental portfolios, really out there looking and trying to find these because there's more buyers coming into the fray, more investors, more funds, more 1031 exchange, more self-directed IRA. If you name all the different investing, real estate investing avenues, single family rentals are really on the top of the list. And there's a lot more smart money coming into the space as well as these funds or wanting to deploy more capital, they're gonna to have to be more creative in order to do this because a lot of people are chasing the same assets and you can only go down so far and yield. So some of the things they're doing, for example, uh, blending markets. So buying in a more uh, lower cost, higher yielding market that probably has a little bit lower HPA, home price appreciation, but has a great yield and then blending that with a higher cost, lower yielding, but higher appreciating market. You know, if you have a fund that wants to hit a 6% yield, they can buy at a five and a half in one market, a six and a half in another, and be able to truly diversify their portfolio. The other thing they're doing is going into some of these new markets that are coming up that are exploding right now, um, along with that kind of hipsterbia vibe that these markets have, and investing into up and coming markets that I don't think are up and coming anymore. They've arrived, people are flocking to these areas because they want to live in a great suburban work live play environment and they're very location neutral i mean they did a survey not long ago and it was it was some crazy number 80 percent of everybody would move if they could but their job is holding them back so with remote working coming more prevalent this is great um, i think we're still seeing a lot of uh, commercial assets getting hurt in urban areas multifamily has been strong in the upper multifamily but the lower end multifamily has been hurting as well so navigating all of those things, figuring out where we can buy more um, for our investors and funds that we work with and how they're gonna deploy that capital because it'll be really interesting to see a lot of this stuff that's chasing these assets. I don't think everybody's gonna be able to be successful. So as a company and myself, as we run across new funds all the time, we always take it very slowly in the beginning while they figure out how they're gonna actually execute and if they can execute. Uh, the other thing we're working on as well is uh, on our team, we have an elite team of agents that we work with in all of our markets. We've really started pushing the social media and, and starting to try to amplify our voice. And we're doing that through LinkedIn. It'd be great if anybody else wants to join. It's, it's a hashtag RW market snapshot because we've got agents all over the markets that we're in. And uh, it's interesting to see the different dynamics in the different markets. And everywhere from a Denver market that's hot um, where you're at 97, 98% occupancy on rentals, which is causing some bidding wars just to get a rental and people are renting several months out to other up and coming markets like a Corpus Christi or Birmingham, Alabama or the Panhandle of Florida or anywhere in between Birmingham, Nashville, Charlotte, down to Atlanta, all those areas are blowing up. So I'd love to hear from you what's going on in your market. And please use the hashtag RWMarketSnapshot and we'll see what's happening. Appreciate your time. Please comment. Let me know what you'd like to hear and I, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.